Rothamsted had this enormous history. It's the oldest agricultural research station in the world. It has benefited from very, very significant investment, both in terms of the initial work of laws, but also in terms of the scientists who worked here. Over the last 172 years of our existence, we've had a lot of contributions to the wider industry and in starting of the innovations that directly benefited farmers, such as the world's first commercial fertilizer superphosphate. We've had the experiments continuously running for over 170 years. Most of the research that we're doing is aimed at having impact on the agricultural production system. Wheat yields are something like three times what they were when Rothamsted started. It's very largely due to the work they do. It's enormously important. For Rothamsted, it is a very multidisciplinary institute that conducts research on very basic areas of biosciences, but also on arable systems, grassland livestock systems, insect ecology, so many areas of importance. The Rossumstedt Center for uh, Research and Enterprise is a, is a new undertaking and in some ways also novel. It has various components, so a conference center, a building that will allow companies to come and uh, lease space, conduct research and also utilize uh, facilities here. And of course the Lars Open Innovation Hub, uh, which is perhaps uh, the most interesting component because it aims to provide a high quality research space to interact, to do research together between our scientists and company scientists in a creative environment. What Rothamsted is doing here from our perspective as a commercial enterprise is really creating a place where they can attract other businesses like ours but also open up their scientific process to work with industry. And what we get is the access to that history as well as that team of scientists. We are about to establish a new centre which will focus on big data modelling, statistics, analytics and metrics of sustainability. Basically that's a centre that connects across the whole food chain. It connects not just the science but it also connects the business opportunities. Just let me give you some statistics which are really quite concerning. By 2025, there'll be 8 billion people on the planet. We're going to need about 40% more food. We're going to need a lot more energy, probably about 50% more. We have to think about water because something like 80% of available water is used by agriculture. These are the sort of things that have got to be addressed by the technology that can be developed in an agricultural system. I think what's needed in the future is for agricultural research and innovation to be better connected to the delivery of solutions by industry. Uh, and I think ROCRA provides the opportunity for a proper embedding of industry with the academic community. I'd expect to see a lot more collaborations, a lot more inward investment and new jobs. Longer term, I think we're going to see a vibrant campus that will mean sustainability for the Institute and a huge impact for the UK economy. And what's important is that we're developing real social space within that building. It allows us to engage with commercial enterprises and it opens up Rothamsted for business. It'll be a new kind of science and a new kind of way of working with industry. It'll create new fusions of, of research, it'll create new partnerships with industry and hopefully develop a whole new ecosystem.